Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup team. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 207 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your Just missed with the left there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know it's for a good night. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. He's looking to land the right just out of range. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. What a body kick. Good kicks there by Choi. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect it to. Great punch. Blocks the shot. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, Superman punch lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. Not there. Big kick lands. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Real nice body kick land. Nice punch by Short. Big head kick lands. Straight left counter, that one will work. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh! All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. That right hand hurt him a little Both bit. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Good stick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Here we are, early round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice right hand. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Another big leg kick lands. 
Left hook counter there yet again. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Chor. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Ooh, head kick. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Great punch landed with so much power. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Watch right hand is true. Oh, that's a good right hand. Choi's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Three minutes to go. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Punch over the top. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Superman punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight right hand, no good. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Goes to the body there. Take many of those, you better check. Landed that left hook. Nice one, two there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Trying to establish that jab once again. He might be out. He went higher on that one. Oh! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that right hand is on point. Hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big punch land. Well, 
Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big kick land. Right hook to the head block. Just a split there. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice punch land over the top. Just misses there with the left. Pretty significant belt to the left side. How about that shin? Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. trying to shut the liver down. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. What a tricky head kick. Well, the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Nice. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. No! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, well both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice kick. Oh, he's... Oh, oh, he's right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Holy smokes, he put it to sleep. Oh! Oh, straight right. 
giving him so many different things right now. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice straight there by the Korean Super Bowl. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hey, stop! So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Head kick lands. What a punch. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Checks the leg kick. Big leg kick land. And they set. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Nice right punch followed by a left. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very active. Oh! oh! he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he got it hurt bad! All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win all right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by no and there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah.